Alright, hello friends and welcome to this video. Welcome. welcome this to Earth. video is basically going to be a one hour compilation on all of the BTS artworks that I created on the app called Procreate. Like, Procreate is an amazing app. It would be so Anyways, awesome. Um, you know, it would like, be so cool. when I first got this app, like, I was so excited that, you know, I created my first Procreate artwork, which uh, I was just experimenting with, like, um, paintbrushes and what whatnot. And then I decided to do BTS artwork. <laughs> Where, where I was like still new to Procreate so I completely had no idea what I was doing and like it was so hard like I didn't even know how to make the line straight something was kind of wonky and I was like wondering huh, how do you get a line straight I don't know what I'm doing and then like I didn't know how to make the um things equal like here you can see i kept on undoing the th things that i was doing but i could have literally added a, a symmetrical line in, in between um that way i didn't have to draw one and then the other so that was uh... a bit of a struggle anyways here i am just drawing bts and then there you can see i was starting to draw a head there but then it kind of didn't look nice so then i was so then I switched to, you know, actually drawing the BTS stick because before drawing the BTS stick, I was actually going to draw the BTS members at the bottom. But then I was like to myself, um, excuse me, like, why am I drawing BTS members and I'm not even good at drawing portraits? So, you know, I just sticked to drawing a um, BTS light stick. So here I am just drawing it and this circle was really annoying what is that what is that wait it you can literally draw a circle and then if you hold on to it it creates a perfect circle so i was juggling for no reason you could clearly see how wonky the circle was and then i was so stupid stupid and then I found this light pen, you know, and I was so fascinated by it. I was like, oh my god, it lights up. Like, yeah, I was like completely fascinated about it back when I drew this. Like, this was like a year ago when I was like 15, I think. So I was really excited about the light pens and how I could change the colours and stuff. So that I was really great with. And I feel like at this point, like, I knew. Oh my it god! Work. Wow! So oh I my god! Like, was and then I found out about the background. Uh oh. Was off, you know, like, come on. So, you know, I paused for quite a long time. Pause. You know, I was thinking, mm. hmm, something's off with the background, like. I don't like it. Plain purple, right? And since, since like I was still new with like the tools, I had no idea how to do the background, like how to make it like, you know, glowy and nice and just abstract. So, you know, I just went into the tool brush section and I just scrolled I, through. I don't know what uh, HD is, but my doctor says I have 80 of them. It's random splatters and whatever. Um... Then I experimented with that and I ended up um, using them to do the uh, to do the background. So I started using this, I forgot what it's called, but you can see those bubbles appearing. Um, yeah, so I used that and I just kept kept on experimenting like i had no idea what i was doing but then i kind of liked where it was going you know i took oh wow it looks like it's frozen but it's not oh yeah there you go so i started um you know just throwing a bunch of like bubbles whatnot everywhere um and I completely had no idea what I was doing. I was experimenting with like the colors and stuff like that. So I kept on changing the color of the purple. And then 
I added this random glitter glitter that is a nice choice and then oh yeah um i found out about this dark uh you can darken it as well like mess around with the gaussian blur the motion blur the perspective and then like i blurred the perspective and this is how it turned out on to the next one so this is the mic drop one mic drop artwork which i am so proud of now should i talk you through this one we shall, okay, I shall. So, basically. Basically, it started with the blank, blank canvas, right? And, like, I had no idea what I was going to do. So, I searched on Google, you know, mic drop. And then I saw this very nice mic, and I wanted to incorporate that. But first, obviously, I had to write the actual mic drop. So, I decided to do it, like, I don't know. I wanted it to be, like, neon and very, like, bright and stuff. I wanted, to be, I wanted it to look neon and stuff. So... You know, I used this bright white, bright light pen, I think it was light pen. Or, yeah, I think it was a light pen I used. And then that's the moment where I incorporated the mic drop thingy, which I found on Google that I really liked. So I took inspiration from one of the pictures there. And then here I messed around with that bubble thingy. I forgot what it's called in the background, but yeah. And then I think I added those streaks of lights um, and obviously everything is purple. I don't think I used any white there. Everything here is purple and stuff. So I think I stuck with the same colour. Um, and then, oh, here I added a white overlay on top of the mic drop. Which, oh, that actually seemed really nice. nice. Like, that looks cool, I feel. And then I had like a great idea. Like, I don't know what I was doing. I was kind of like just experimenting. I added this, I think it was the charcoal pencil that I used with a darker purple and I went into the inner corner of it in the corner of the white uh, between the white lines so I was just going over that like rewriting my drop again basically and yeah and then I decided to outline the thing and I knew that like I remember thinking you know what I don't really like the mic like me. it, really it bothers, bothers me. me it bothers me a lot <laughs> It really bothers me the mic so I decided to change it up a bit but before that I also didn't like how the mic drop was as well I really didn't like anything about it so I just kept on messing about with the title first to get that perfect and then I kind of like decided just to do that fiery thing like underneath and I just thought that looked really cool I think that was with the brush pen I think I believe was it i'm confused yeah and then after doing the mic drop title i decided to work on the actual mic thing because i knew that was not really good oh sh not good okay okay i'm trying she's scribbling at this point then i decided to do that swirl thing which i which kind of looked cool you know it actually kind of brightened things up okay. there good change up. and then i added i think it was a all I changed the opacity of it and then added more swirls in the background which actually was like the first time playing with the opacity thing when I added the swirls around in the background and then I just went over it, some areas dark areas with that charcoal pencil I think again I think yeah it was the color black that I chose I just kept it going over the swirls and stuff and the title as well and I think you know what the ending I feel like it looks good, but I'm pretty sure in the future I will remake this because, you know, this needs to be remade and has to be improved much better. And in the future, you know, I'm planning to do more of these poster type styled um, K-pop covers and stuff. I don't know. It was really fun. I remember enjoying making this and stuff and I was so proud of it. Like I went... I showed it to my family members and they're like, oh my god, I made this. I made this. Yes, I made this, guys. I made this when I was 15. Uh, even though there are other 15 out, a 15 year old out there doing way better art than me. But you know, everyone works at different levels. No one's the same, you know. Anyways. Yeah, so this poster I'm really proud of sorry for the background noises because i'm pretty sure you guys can hear the background noises 
and you know I live in a big and I live in a house with a big family so yeah anyways um I need you guys to do a favor like I need you to subscribe and like the video because it will be much appreciated um and also hit that notification bell like turn it on so that every time i pass the video you know the drill you will get notified every time so anyways um here are, yeah i added some highlight onto the picture using those light streaks i think i forgot what it's called light light streaks is it it's on procreate I, f I generally forgot the name i've been using procreate for so long i just can't memorize the names of those you know elements of brushes and stuff what they're called and stuff and then here are oh, okay here i started experimenting with those you know splatters or that procreate has like i used the color purple obviously yeah i was just splattering everywhere because i just thought it looked really cool but then just looking at it now like uh, why did i splatter so much uh, like this is what i do as well with that when i have like normal paint like, i just every time i finish your artwork i just like to splatter paint over like we either oh it's white paint and just splat onto a black canvas to make it look like the stars you know i always just splattered paint even when i um you know just drew it traditionally so here oh wow that's a lot oh it completely changed here i actually messed with the color as well the color saturation and stuff anyways next moving on to the moving on to the next one this is a microcosmos god um, Drawing of yeah. BTS. So, this one I actually found on Google and I just like replicated it onto the Procreate. Obviously, it's not the, it's not exactly the same as I found on Google, but yeah. I tried my absolute best to recreate this on Procreate just by, you know, copying and like looking back at the screen while looking back at my iPad. And here I was just messing about with, you know, just messing around, like, just trying to get the background look perfect, even though this clearly does not look perfect. So, you know, uh, clearly you can tell I was new at this because I didn't know that you could literally fill in that black thing with solid black instead of having to colour it, like, yourself. Um, here I was, I, I I remember finding to do the peace sign like I was really struggling to do the peace sign and well while editing it I just made it look like oh I've perfectly done the peace sign with no struggles at all anyways yeah so that happened and I was just messing with those lights bubble things again oh wow it seems like I was really obsessed with those bubble thingies and I don't even know the name of it and then oh using those light light flares thingies again yeah so i was just messing around with that and you know what i'm looking back at this now i'm not even that thing about it because it honestly doesn't really look that nice uh, it literally doesn't really look that nice it looks ugly can't know um well you know at least i know that i improved so that one, that's what matters and writing the actual microcosmos i literally didn't like it at all and i didn't know i could do the line straight and like if i knew i could do the line straight the circle is so wonky um those forward and backward thingies are not even done properly oh so much you know mistakes in this and obviously, I obviously worked on the saturation and the hues of the colour because, you know, it looked very dull before, but now it looks great, the colour background. You know, I feel like my backgrounds keep on improving as uh, seen from my last, uh, my first ever BTS thing to now. It actually drastically improved. Um, so here I went over it with white because obviously the purple one couldn't really be se seen much because it's really blended into the background and it's literally the same colour as the bubble, as the bubbles in the background as well. So I went over it in white and stuff, which really enhanced the um, 
the, you know, the actual thing, of, like the whole main focus is that to make it look like, oh, someone's playing like micro microcosmos and stuff. So that's the whole main focus. I'm glad I done that as white. And then, you know, I just added lines and highlights onto the bubbles and stuff. The bubbles was actually my idea. That was not copied. I just thought it would look cool. And yeah, this is something I'm really proud of. Now on to the next one. Um, Bangtan Boys. Now this... Oh. It would be so awesome. It would be so cool. The most awesome artwork that I've ever done. Like, can't lie, this one. Just practicing my calligraphy to then like going over it and then actually changing the whole background and adding splatters to turning into um, to turning it into some epic masterpiece <laughs> even now i'm actually genuinely proud of this as a 15 year old girl that drew this you know i'm proud of that 15 year old girl that actually created this masterpiece so um yeah here i am just drawing writing out bangtan boys um it wasn't that quite it wasn't quite difficult to actually write this but you know i had to f i remember looking for like the perfect pen stroke uh the perfect pen to actually write this because yeah it was quite difficult and then you know going over the white highlight i just think that white makes everything perfect like the perfect, perfect. really brings your work like really enhances that look of your work and then here i am messing with those light streaks again but i ended up removing it because it looked ugly now i'm just doing diagonal ones you know because that looks way better and purple as well so that looks way better it literally brightens up the artwork and then here i am messing with the bubble things again and you know just messing around with the background and i oh wow the white highlight really really made it pop okay let's just pause here i don't know why it's frozen um i feel it uh, looks like i was in a deep deep thinking at this stage you know i was thinking of what i should do next and I decided to add splatters, okay. Mm, let's see the big change that happens, which doesn't show when I change the colours and saturations and the hues and the darkness and the brightness. We will see how this changes, adding some splatters everywhere. You know, I was really obsessed with this with splatters. Like throughout my whole BTS work, like you could clearly see that I was obsessed with splattering just random spots everywhere. Let's see how this artwork changes. I'm guessing we'll go darker. I, I think yeah, I was obsessed with making the darkness like really dark. I think it was that up to 40 that I made it dark. And the brightness, I didn't really add any brightness, except, you know, when you does the glow, when you had to do the glow thingy, I put it to max. And, yeah. Right now, it looks nice as it is, but you'll see a quick, sudden change to this artwork after I finish adding the splatters everywhere. Like, at this point, I feel like I overdone it with the splatters. Because now you can barely even see the Bangtan boys calligraphy at the back. Okay, and in three, two, one. One, three, two, one. There you go. Here, I messed with the perspective blur and completely changed the background. Off to the next. This is Fake Love. Now, this one I was quite proud of. Get ready. Fake love. 
began with, you know, a nice background. I'm not completely sure how exactly I done this. Um, oh yes, that I struggled with. Yes, the curves, it was such a struggle to do. This is what digital artists have to go through, just keeping on doing, redoing it and stuff like that. And the fake love, you know, I absolutely had no idea that there can be grids. You know, I didn't know there was grid on Procreate. And I didn't know that you could straighten your lines by just holding on to it and it becomes straight. Because I was too dumb for that. And then I find out there, you can kind of see that. Oh, oh hey! You can straighten the lines. So after such a long time of struggling, you know. Help me! I finally knew it worked out after undoing and redoing it several times. But, you know, I learned from my mistakes because now I know that there are actually grids. Here, I'm playing with the white pen, again, the light pen one. And, uh, you know, I just thought it would be nice with some highlights. And, yeah. yeah. Just adding more highlights. At this point, like, what was I thinking? I, think, I feel like I was too obsessed with highlights. Like you can barely see fake love anymore. Like, what is this girl doing? What are you doing? Okay, let's just continue to watch. Oh, yes. More splatters. I was genuinely obsessed with splatters, literally. I know you're obsessed with me. Right here, I thought. I wanted to give it some sort of uh, botanical feel to it. You know, so I really liked the idea of putting splatters underneath the title fake love to like make it look like as if fake love was like sitting on top of like a bunch of flowers and then i did splatters over the actual wavy thingy and then the heart and the key that was like i, I think i saw that on the poster or was that my own idea i'm not really sure I'm not sure if you, you have entered the name not sure is this correct not sure no it's not correct. thank you anyways after that i changed the dark setting setting so i made it darker and then i think yes yeah, so i kept on working on that locker thingy and i changed the color a bit for the background and then um yeah then I used the brush pen. I don't think that was brush pen. I used that pen. I forgot the name of that pen for the heart that I used. Anyways, I used the light pen for the fake love. Um, I just outlined it in purple with a light pen to make it glow. And then I used the pen, the light pen again, because it seems like I was obsessed with the light pen, but this time I made it more thicker on the size and um i went over the swirly thingy and then i've done a line underneath the fake love you know to give a more highlight underneath that and i darkened it more which i clearly shouldn't have darkened it because i don't like it darkened and it does look like i did perspective blur to it as well so this can be needed of some work but yeah, that's how it turned out. All right, and moving on to the next piece, which, you know, I'm very proud of because I actually drew this very recently. Anyway, so this piece, mm, I mean, I started off with, you know, drawing the tree. You know, I actually knew... In my mind like what i was gonna do so like you know i just quickly done the background the background wasn't that hard to do actually because yeah it's just very simple background um and then i went on doing the actual tree which was very fun and quite simple to do nothing too you know too like nothing too much you know just you know, I just drew, drew a simple looking tree. And, you know, after doing the tree, I thought, you know what? This tree kind of looks like, you know, very 2D. And, like, I wanted to make it look more, you know, 
3D, like, make it look more alive and stuff. So, after adding those leaf thingies, I went over with the darker colour to give it more shadow and more depth. But obviously this doesn't very, this doesn't really look nice. Still. So after using after going over with the dark colour, I then used the light pen to um just like scribble over it, which you will see later on in the video. But for now, you know, you can kind of see where the tree how the tree is looking, you know, it's looking quite good. It's looking quite nice. Anyways, um, I did add highlights to the branches, um, um, because, you know, it just needed some highlights, you know, I am, I love highlights, I'm obsessed with highlights. Anyways, so that about me hasn't really changed, so, yeah, highlight will always, always be with me, you know, I would either give too much highlight, or, you know, I will just, I just have to give highlights. Anyway, so that is, you know, looking good so far. And then I added some more highlights at the end of the tree because I wanted to make it look very, like, hanging, like, towards the end. You know what I mean? Like, to give that tree some more... I don't know. I just wanted... I like those trees where it's, like, hanging towards the end. Like, those tips at the end where it's just, like, hanging down like vines. Um, as you can see in the picture, I don't know, I don't really know how to explain it, but yeah, I just love those type of trees. And then I completely changed the background, I made it dark, I just adjusted the brightness, that was it. And then I found a picture of BTS online on Google, and then, you know, I wanted like a group um, of BTS that underneath the tree, like they were sitting underneath the tree, and then I thought, you know those flowers like underneath the, uh, underneath uh, BTS? It's like, oh my god, they they will suit so perfectly with the tree. So basically, I cropped a uh, BTS into the um, Procreate and started working on, you know, colouring them and stuff. Um, so I just wanted to turn them into like faceless portraits. So, you know, I started off with, um, who was that again? J-Hope. Yeah, I started off with J-Hope. And yeah, it actually took quite a while to do these faceless portraits because um before well now I had the experience you know like if you hold on to the color of the skin it will come up as the color so you don't have to like just search for the perfect skin color for yourself because if you just hold on to it like if like for example if you hold on to their face um uh, their skin color is going to appear as your color and you could just like go over it earlier before when i do did face portraits i had no idea that that existed so i remember just wasting a bunch of time trying to look for the correct color like i would literally spend like 20 minutes trying to match the their skin tone when i could literally just press on the skin tone and it would come up as the color yeah, so I remember that was such a struggle. Okay. Anyways, um, you know, right now, you know, I'm experienced, but I wouldn't say I'm like proper experienced to know all about Procreate, you know. I uh, learned from a mistake and now I'm just, you know, I know how to actually do faceless portraits, at least like for a beginner. So now um, we're moving, we're going to move on to uh, V doing his faceless portrait V, the most handsomest guy in the world I freaking love V and J-Hope is literally such a sunshine so let's do V's faceless portrait <laughs> it's massive oh no 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 Tata Mike Tata Mike, Tata Mike, Tata Mike, Tata Mike, Tata Mike, Tata Mike, Tata 
마음에 드는 게 있나? 보라 보라 이보라라고 하는 그 예배 김창이라고 합니다. 오케이, okay, we're nearly done with the handsome boy. You know, we're nearly finished with him. Next will be Namjoon. My name is Aram. I'm the leader of this group. <laughs> <laughs> now let's move in onto our leader's faceless portrait, RM, Red Monster. I don't know how to roll my R, but yeah, Red Monster. Um, so RM is already looking handsome, but you know, we'll turn him into a faceless portrait. Now, one thing that I really need to practice on is the lips. Like, I don't know. I just feel like when I've done the lips, I kind of messed it, up, messed it up a bit. You know, so I really need to practice on the lips. But RM, RM is looking nice so far, you know. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed those little clips. Anyways, so we're nearly finished with Rap Monster. Now, time for our Makane, Jungkook. Jungkook, oh my god, his voice is so freaking good. Oh, and have you guys noticed V's voice? I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like V's voice got way deep. Like, the last time, like, I listened to his song, like, listened to his songs, like, his voice was already deep, but then his new songs that he made covers on, his voice has gone way deeper. And I just freaking love it. I'm obsessed with V's voice. But then Jungkook's voice is also so amazing. Because his new song, Seven, is his voice is just really, really good. Like, it's just so amazing. Like, even if he sings the most, like, rubbishest songs. You know, even if he sings, like, um, does covers on the most hated songs I, I feel like personally i would still love it if he sang it with that type of voice because his voice is just so soulful and so soft and so like angelic i must be favored tonight yeah, yeah. i'll take my hands and treasure lines the way they can ride it's the way that you can ride They can match you in another lot So break me up another time You got fun on me and you give me life That's my night after night Now, Jimin We're doing Jimin's faceless portrait Jimin is like, I just love his chubby face He's so cute, he's really, he's really handsome and cute and Jin, worldwide handsome Jin. His for his faceless portrait was quite fun to do. Hello, my name is Jin. I'm worldwide handsome. You know. And Sugar, the best rapper in the world. Personally, I just feel like he is the best rap artist. 
ever in the entire, like, in the whole world. He is the best sugar. Sugar is literally the best rapper ever. Um, yeah, so we're doing his faceless portrait now. Now, he was, like, the last person to do the faceless portrait on since he was, like, on the last end of the role out of all the BTS members. And, well, he was quite difficult to do because, like, his hair, like, everything else is fine. His um, shirt, his face, his lips is also quite decent. But when it just came to his hair, that's where it went a bit, uh, I mean, his hair looked kind of, I don't know, I just, I just don't know, like, well, you'll see, you'll see soon how I done his hair, because it didn't really look that good to me, like, out of all of the BTS members' hair that I done, their ones looked much better compared to sugar's one you know um sugar i have friends that like sugar as his bias but personally my bias is probably v i don't know i just i just like v um comment down below what your your guys's bias are my bias is V, and like if you have a reason, then also like you know, just comment down what by your bias is that person, you know. Oh, so basically, basically, you know, what took me the longest was that you know, the things at the bottom, those flowers at the bottom, and I, ha I didn't like how it looked, and I really wanted to go over it and stuff since I went, I literally went over everything else, so like I couldn't leave the flowers by itself looking like that. So, you know, I was just going over each one of them, one by one, just painting over each of those flowers at the bottom, as you can see, as I'm doing. But honestly, in real life, it took much longer than expected. You know, I thought if I just do paint strokes everywhere, you know, but the thing is that it takes longer because you have to hold on to the colour and then you have to use that colour to colour it in. And it's much harder than it looks, like genuinely much harder. So that took like 5,000 years to do, honestly. I hated it so much. I literally felt like scribbling over all of my artwork because it was that annoying. Like I just, my hands, I felt like my hands were about to break off. Like I was just continuously just rip it like it was like a uh, repeated um, thing just repeatingly doing that one thing over and over again colouring it in, selecting the colour, colouring it in, selecting the colour in like the same areas like it was so annoying and yeah and then um, you know it, look, it took really long i feel like that was like the longest part and um while doing so i was just watching on netflix like my k-drama and stuff i'm like watching this k-drama called psychopath what is it called psychopath diary i think um i'm like nearly finished with the show and it's such a good i like i just love it it has everything it has humor and like crime and mystery and it's so good yeah, so uh, colouring in the petals, you know, I was just watching my K-drama and when I finished with the petals, I was like, oh, thank God, finally I'm done and over with, with the petals. Um, and then I decided to do the hair on the on sugar and yeah, well, the hair didn't really turn out great. It literally didn't turn out great. And then here I decided to do on um, to work on the um actual tree thingy because I didn't like how it looked. I didn't like how it looked because like you know how the bottom part is all colourful with the leaves, like with the petals and stuff like that. Pinks, reds, whites, 
browns and it looked so colorful at the bottom but then when it came up like to the actual tree thingy it was all neon and stuff and i really like it was just like solely based on one color which is like purple like i didn't really want that so then i decided to add you know like pink to it to give it to like match with the petals at the bottom because then you look like oh the petals fell from that big giant tree so that also took a really 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 long time honestly that was so hard like i thought the petals at the bottom was hard but then actually when it came to the actual tree thing it was even more hard oh, like why did i do that why did i choose to do that but then at the same time like it was a good thing that i chose to do that because it looks 100 percent way better than the last tree but still like art really takes a lot of time and patience and i'm not really a patient girl so if you see me like scribbling well you know just that's just me you know just just can't like i just can't be asked like so at times you will see me scribbling and stuff because like i really can't be asked doing it and that is what i do with most of my artwork which i know as an artist you're not supposed to do that but i do that uh, you know i'm literally gonna like you'll see like halfway doing the tree i'm gonna be rushing it because um you know the some of the lines will not be curved and stuff and that's because i just couldn't be asked like i was just doing it so fast and i was just rushing it because i really wanted the tree to be done and over with um, and then after I finished with the pink, you'll see later that I went with a red pen. Red because, you know, the petals I used, some of them were red. So I decided to incorporate that onto the tree as well to make it look half red, half pink, you know. Um, I mean, the tree already is looking nice. Like, honestly... It's already looking quite nice and recently you know, I've been fond of doing trees because recently I made this A3, not A3, um, it was an A2 canvas and it was like a tree and I used like red acrylic paint, pink acrylic paint and I made this beautiful tree painting. Um, yeah so that was quite fun to do and now creating like another tree painting this time on like digital art on procreate it's also just as fun as it is to tr paint traditionally on a canvas um you know i had i actually had fun painting the tree but then when it came to going over it with different colors such as like the pinks and the reds it was quite difficult and time consuming yeah so it was quite difficult and time consuming because you know i just had to do those repetitive patterns and i really really hate doing repetitive patterns because it can really really get on your nerves like literally so <laughs> yeah um here i am just slowly but surely filling in those gaps and just doing those petal shapes everywhere on the tree to make it look alive and to make it match the um the colors on the floor as well because you know i wanted this whole concept concept to be like you know the bts members sitting on the ground full of petals that fell from the tree behind them which you know i really like this scenery it's not realistic it's just you know cartoonish and very simple and very like nice color choice like it's just not nothing too much you know like my other previous work that you've seen on bts and then i decided to go with white for more highlights because yeah highlights just makes everything look perfect and so i decided to do that on the tree 
and it actually turned out really great you know while doing the highlights i was thinking mm, is this like is this actually like looking nice and then i take like a further back like further look at it and then i'm like mm, you know what it actually looks nice and yeah like if you look at things closely it's not gonna look nice but then if you just take one step back just look at it from far you'll be like mm, that actually looks nice like wow i made that i drew that that actually looks nice um yeah like once you take a look back everything will look nice because if you look closer you'll get you'll see like all the details and the messy stuff and then after that you know i decided to just outline the bts members around it with um that light pen that i used for the highlights on the tree and then i just decided to outline the outside part of the tree as well to give it that really like shine to it and highlight obviously so you know i outlined the whole tree actually and yeah it kind of looks nice like this but then at the same time it would have also looked nice either way without the highlights but i'm extra so obviously i added the highlights to it and i'm proud of how it turned out i'm proud that you know i highlighted the members as well like done like lines around the members so that turned out really great and then at the bottom where the petals are, you know, I went with that same light pen um, and just went over them as well. Basically, I just scribbled over them and I tried to make it look like, you know, flowers and whatnot at the bottom and stuff but and petals, a bunch of petals. But I just, you know, just scribbled. I literally just scribbled everywhere. Like the whole bottom thing is just a bunch of scribbles. Like, what is this? why i just couldn't be asked to leave that's why it's my fault that's my mistake i'm sorry guys i just done a bunch of scribbles at the bottom and then you know i highlighted in their clothes the bts's clothes and stuff and that really looked nice you know after the highlights and then i used that bubble thingy i forgot what it's called but yeah sorry for the background noises earlier um those are my like siblings in the background anyways moving on to the next one now which i am really proud of this has really improved my um from the last one that you saw around uh, on the faceless portrait i wanted to try that again you know um this time with a more intense background and i went for another tree design at first you know I wanted it to be kind of, I don't know, very, um, like, gothic-like, very, like, dark and gloomy. And then, like, oh, I was, like, experimenting with all of the things, the brushes in the Procreate section. So I really didn't know what I was doing. I was just kind of experimenting. And um, then I got an idea to draw a tree yet again. And then, so I just kept on like adding more and more, just layering on top of the things that I'm doing. And at this point, just looked like a big white circle thing. So honestly, I had no idea what where this design would lead me to. You know, like... Um, but then like this kind of looked like a tree to me so i then slowly but surely turned this into a tree because i darkened it um just like lowering the brightness on procreate and then i went in with the light pen to make the tree glow and this is a really fascinating part because i really used more of the neon stuff the light um gloom to it and i did this dark brick thing onto the tree and um initially i used the color green um because i thought that you know a green tree would look quite nice na nature and whatnot so i added splatters i kept on adding more and more to it um 
yeah, let's see what this leads us to. Again, using the charcoal pencil, light pen, light brush, then adding the, um, I don't know what that's called, the glimmer, I think. Yeah, the glimmers. Um, I kept on redoing and undoing it, which was quite frustrating because I didn't know where it would, like, I just wanted it to become perfect and stuff. For the background, at the back, I used um, that bubble thingy and then I darkened it way more and then I added a bloom to it to make it really pop. And then this is where I went with the scribbles, you know. Um, I kept on um, adding more of the bubbles in the background. Um, and then I added that light beam thing. Um, to make it really glow and I just wanted so much highlight in the background because I will darken it because I planned on darkening it even more after adding more of the highlights in the background so after I darkened it like literally looked so mythical and like darkening it more made it even more like you know very mythical and fantasy like right so that's the idea I was going for and then I added some more splatters on top of it, yeah, to create that abstract feel because I didn't want it to be, I didn't want it to look like a perfect tree, you know. I wanted it to kind of look like it's like branching off, like downwards, and like there's just a bunch of random stuff going on. Uh, so I added so many splatters to it to give it that abstract feel and that randomized feel you know so it wasn't a very so it didn't look like a very you know um specific tree that i nicely like planned out i wanted it to turn out really abstract and this is is what all of the splatters got me to you know it made a very abstract like tree and that is exactly what i was going for so these splatters were really helpful and I literally like throughout my whole of BTS artwork I literally used so many splatters just spl splattering everywhere on my artwork and I don't know it just kind of fills it in you know it just fills in those missing those little missing gaps that you can see and just adds more detail and depth to your artwork so like personally i just love splattering on my artwork um yeah so um there i darkened it even more like i was just playing in the darkness and um i then added like glimmer i think it's called glitter glimmer um so i did that on the uh the tree and stuff and then i darkened it so it and then sorry i changed the color after to actually because i decided you know what bts purple like why should i stick to green then i was like okay i'll just change it to purple instead and then after i changed it to purple i done the bts logo and then got a bts picture from google and um then i just started working with that i started first getting rid of the background slowly because it did take really long time to get rid of the background quite a while because i had to slowly and carefully just get the background out without ac accidentally cutting the faces or hair off so that turned out really great i think and then after I got rid of the background, um, I started off going in, actually doing their, actually doing their faceless portrait, and actually while doing their faceless portrait, it's like I'm actually having, like, fun with doing it. Like the more I do faceless portrait, the more I enjoy it and stuff. So doing the faceless portrait was really fun, easy and a quick thing to do. It really wasn't that hard, like um you know, just follow the face shape. Um except um I just missed out the lips because you know I wanted to keep the lips 
uh, there so yeah i just colored the faces and their hands as well all the same skin tone as well because i couldn't be bothered to change the skin tone and i thought you know it would just be weird so i just kept it all the same the skin tone and then out here i was just like messing with the layers and stuff and then i added um you know those white lines to outline the um their appearance and stuff so that you could so that they really pop like they pop while the background like stays in the background because i wanted the bts members to also be the main focus on this artwork so that's why i done the white outline around them because i just thought you know it would make them appear more and like it would add a glow around them and then like i had to reposition reposition them because you know the bts members looked quite small so i wanted the background to be more in the back and the bts members to be more up front so now it looks much better because the bts members are more up front and it looks like as if you know they are actually like standing in front of the trees while the trees are far in the background although i do admit i do admit that it could have been a little better the background because it kind of looks fake but then you know i didn't really want it to be that realistic either way so i mean it's decent i guess um but yeah now i'm just going on with the highlights i'm just outlining the appearance finishing off outlining the appearance and then uh, later on um you know i decided to like do something about the bts logo thing but then um you know it kind of didn't look right what i was doing those things hanging off it just looked out of place to be honest um so you know after just doing more of that i decided no i'm not gonna add those lines because it just looks kind of weird so i just got rid of all of those lines that i previously done so that was gone bye bye lines um yeah so after getting rid of the lines on the bts logo thing i did end up doing a more subtle subtle su how do you say it? sub subtle S oh subtle subtle lines i think you know those like soft lines basically like just lightly done the lines on the logos um so after doing lightly doing the lines on the logo you know it kind of looked nice you know and then after i went to their hairs so i was doing white lines on their hair because i just thought it would look really cool if like the whole bts were just covered with white line and i, I feel like it would make them like stand out so much so doing their hairs was quite difficult because i didn't think that it would turn out nice but i can't lie it actually kind of looks nice you know the white outline in their hairs and um it just makes it look more animated and like yeah it just adds more shadow to their hair and more depth and detail so that i really like so what i like about this is that there's not too much detail but then it's like not too simple you know what i mean like it's simple with a little bit of detail as well to it uh where there's like lines white lines and i feel like the white outlines really made this artwork look fantastic although there obviously can be some improvements made but you know as a 16 year old this is quite good and um after doing that um i decided to just outline sorry outline their um clothes as well while i was at it because you know their clothes seemed a bit too plain and just too 2d and like there wasn't any dimension to it as like everything else had dimensions so obviously you know the clothes i just added white outlines around their clothes and stuff to really make their clothes look you know attractive and stuff as well just as their beautiful faces are also attractive so you know i just wanted their clothes to match the their whole vibe because their hair was had white outlines and so why shouldn't their clothes as well so um after doing the white outlines on the clothes i was like wow okay there's nothing more to add i feel like this is finished so voila this artwork 
has been it was really fun to do genuinely and i feel like this artwork um was best to put at the end and you know it just really highlights how much my skills have improved since when i was 15 to now when i'm 16 and it shows how my style did change a bit because when i was 15 i barely knew how to draw faces and portraits and um you know i still don't know how to do face uh sorry portraits and faces you know but i do know how to do faceless portraits now you know just going over um their characters um and just outlining their faces doing faceless portraits was actually really fun to do and you know my skills has improved drastically in terms of working with the backgrounds experimenting with new things and and like you know just learning new features of procreate so this is it guys um i hope you enjoyed this one hour compilation of bts uh with my voiceover over it and i will see you in the next video bye